Hey everybody, Jay Salen here. Welcome back to Jay Salen Music. And on today's episode, I'm reviewing a Firefly FFST Pure Series Stratocaster style guitar. So stick around. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. A little while ago, I did a review on a Firefly FF338 semi-hollow uh, electric guitar, which is basically a copy of a Gibson ES335. The Firefly guitars are incredibly popular right now. They've almost become like a boutique uh, guitar brand uh, and they've come out with a lot of different uh, styles of guitars and they come out, they have releases every once in a while. Uh, and that uh, that red uh, FF335 uh, has actually kind of become a rare guitar. They they haven't made them recently, and you can see them on. I think they they usually retail for $199, maybe $210. Uh, sometimes on Amazon they're a little they're a little bit more, maybe $225. And on Reverb you can find them selling for over $300. I don't know if anybody buys them for that, but. They've kind of become sort of a cult following. Uh, so I happen to have a Stratocaster style guitar that they manufacture. And this is the FFST for Stratocaster, or yeah, S, S style or whatever. And uh, uh, this one, I think it's listed at 159, I think 159.99. Um, I can't remember if we pay shipping on this or not. My wife got this for me as an early Christmas present this year. It was on sale. I believe it was $129. It's insane. It's insane. This is an amazing guitar. Wait till you hear the specs on this. It's, it's just going to blow your mind. So this is the uh, FFST. It is an ash, a solid ash body. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's very well balanced. Uh, excellent paint job on this. I love the, the antique white uh, guitars. Uh, Three-ply pickguard. Uh, it's got a humbucker uh, down here by the, uh, the bridge. And two single coils. And then your regular five-way switch and everything. Everything else is, is uh, pretty standard as far as a Stratocaster style guitar goes. Check this out, it's got a deeper contour here. The, the plate here is actually, I don't even know if you can see it. See how it's tapered? This part is tapered. It's not just square like on a regular Stratocaster. So you can get your hand in there pretty good to get up to those higher strings. It's got the uh, adjustable truss rod here. It's sort of that, that wheel with the little, the little holes in it. I think you just put an Allen wrench in there and turn it. But it, it looks kind of neat. It's kind of a little bit more of a modern style, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see what else. It's Oh, and the, the body is roasted ash, I, I believe, from the uh, listing. And the neck is roasted maple. So you've got that real nice, almost a mahogany uh, color to it. And that, look at that. And then you've got locking tuners. They're really nice tuners. Um, and of course they got their, their headstock logo is just a, probably a print on top of there. And then uh, these are nice. They're the mother of pearl uh, dots. And then these are stainless steel frets. And the fret work on these is absolutely ridiculous. They're, they're rounded over so nicely a big criticism of the chinese made guitars especially when you buy a neck like if you're going to do a home build or whatever is the fret ends are really super sharp and these things are like smooth as can be uh this is a rosewood actual rosewood uh fretboard uh and uh let's see what else not sure what else to say about, I don't know if that's a bone or plastic or synthetic nut. We can find that out. I will post complete specs in the uh, description. 
And then the block, the trim block, doesn't look huge. And it only has, it's got three springs on it. And I noticed that it, it, it you know, it's not sitting flat. When you tune it up, it's, it's floating nice. So you can actually use it. And then it's the two, two screw instead of the what, five or six or whatever they do. So it's, it's got the post on it and the bridge just kind of slides onto that. And it's got bent steel, you know, the bent saddles. So it's interesting how it's got the, the two point trim on it, but then it's got bent saddles, which I like. I like those. I think they're kind of retro looking. Um, and, the, and there's a serial number on it. They're starting to serialize their, uh, their guitars. So that's kind of cool. So, so this, okay. <laughs> Again, I, I, we, I think it was on sale. I think this was one of the last of this particular, um, model because as soon as my wife bought this and it came, I looked them up again on guitarsgarden.com. That's the website where you can get the Firefly guitars. And I looked it up and these were gone. And they had the maple uh, fretboard, uh, which I like the rosewood better. Uh, so, and they come and go. They don't, you, they, they may not sell this particular model again for a long time on that website. So, like I said, it was $130. And I'm not sure what what we paid if we paid shipping or if it was free shipping or not. I'll I can put that in the description too, and I'll put links in the description as well. So the the thing that I think is amazing about this guitar, and it sounds really good too, we'll do a demonstration on it shortly. Is I did a review of the Schechter Nick Johnston uh, Stratocaster style guitar. I had I had gotten one fairly decent. Uh, deal on one through uh, Goodwill Auctions. And that guitar has an Asher Alder body. It's got the roasted maple uh, neck on it. I think it had rosewood, I'm not sure. And then it had really cool little brass rings where the uh, fret dots are. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll post a, a link to that video as well because that guitar was I think I think I want to say it was like around six or seven hundred dollars I think when I sold it I sold it for about seven I think they retail for maybe eight or nine I think so you're looking at a guitar that is I think every bit as good as that uh, guitar and it's a lot cheaper so I don't know how they do it. It's just uh, unbelievable how they can produce such a nice guitar for such little. <laughs> so anyway, check these out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, let's get to a sound test so you can hear what it sounds like. And thanks again for watching. All right, here we go. Got it all set up. Um, running through a Reaper session, and I'm using Bias Effects 2. I think this is just the light version or whatever that they were giving away a little while ago. And I'm running through the Fine Fine Amplitank SC1 audio interface that I reviewed earlier and I'm running through the Fine Fine K669D dynamic microphone. A uh, preset that I have on bias effects is called Glassy Clean. This is considered uh, position five on the five-way switch uh, bridge. So I believe this is the bridge pickup. Just the humbucker all by itself.
switch it to next position up. So I think this is a blend between the humbucker and the middle pickup. So it's got a little bit of that single coil quack to it. sounds really nice uh, it's got a good good tone to it I think uh, I like the humbucker all right let's put some drive on here single coil tone to it. the cutaway because you can really reach up in there so anyway there it is uh, really nice guitar sounds really great uh, very affordable uh, I like the fact that it's a solid ash body uh, roasted roasted body and roasted neck I think it's got a real rich sound to it. I think the pickups are good there those are actually Alnico pickups uh, they're staggered pole pieces uh, the humbucker sounds really nice. So. so I don't think you can go wrong for the money by getting one of these. This is the Firefly FFSTL. They're calling it the Pure Series. Uh, this thing we got for, I think it was $130. Uh, I think plus shipping, I'm not sure. But anyway, check it out. There will be some details in the description. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.